It has arrived, the awaited Asus Republic of Gamer Strix Hero 3. A lot of you have been asking me about this video, when I'm gonna come out with it, and here it is. If you're a video editor, graphic designer, or multimedia designer, some creative field, you've been looking for a video that helps you understand if this computer is right for you. Because when this computer first came out, there was a flood of videos to the market for gamers. There always is. I mean, that's what this computer is initially created for. But we, as creatives, have the opportunity to use these machines to have really great performance for the jobs that we have set before us. If you're curious about the exact pricing and model I have here, you can head down in the description below, grab an affiliate link to either Amazon or Computer Upgrade Kings. If you head on over to Computer Upgrade Kings, use the discount code BEN3 to get a discount on this machine. First thing I wanna look at is the usability. This computer weighs in at about five pounds, has a 17 inch screen, it has 97% RGB color accuracy and a refresh rate of 144 Hertz. This makes this machine really great for video editing and multimedia design, as well as graphic design. Now, one disclaimer I will put in here is that this machine isn't exactly the best on the go machine. It is one of the lighter 17 inch machines. So if you really want to get a 17 inch computer, then this is a great option for you. But a big concern about these big machines with all this power, for instance, the RTX 2070 in this machine, is that they suck a lot of power. And this one is no exception. You're gonna get maybe two hours max out of this battery. And that's pushing it, especially if you're doing video editing, multimedia or graphic design. So make sure you have that charger on you at all times. It's just what happens when you get these high performing computers. One thing though that I really like about the usability this year is that they've upgraded the hinges. I was pretty surprised to see this. Um, not because last year's hinges were so bad, but just because it's something I didn't expect. They don't always upgrade a lot of the body configurations. Usually they just, do some visual things, upgrade the components, so on and so forth. But they made a great upgrade with these hinges. It got rid of a lot of that screen flex that uh, I found in last year's machine. Uh, and it just feels really tight, really solid. So thumbs up to Asus for making that switch. The uh, RGB color light goes all the way across the keyboard, shines through the keys and wraps 270 degrees around the body of the computer. I think this is awesome. Before it was just on the front. It's now on all three sides. And I like it because they've actually tucked it under a little bit farther. And what I enjoy about that is it doesn't pop out and distract you as much. Um, before it was like right on the front. So it kind of shined in your eyes if you weren't really careful of that. Top cover is aluminum, good polyurethane keyboard deck, uh, great keystroke. Give it a listen. Really smooth, really soft keys. I love the feel of the keys on the Hero 3 and really good trackpad. So good click, good sensitivity, gold overall. Um, now, there is one thing that I don't like about this machine. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, they removed the SD card slot, my coveted SD card slot. I'm a video editor and a designer and a photographer at large. And so I like to be able to come in and just drop my SD card slot in there and use that. But I'm gonna have to get a dongle now if I want to use this computer. Um, for my needs. Not a huge game changer for many people, but for me, it's just a simple pleasure that I enjoy with something like a Dell XPS 15. Um, so just wanted to keep that in mind. Also, they removed the webcam. There's no longer a webcam. This surprised me. It seems like every computer now standard comes the webcam, but they said, no, you do not need one. You do not need to be talking to your friends all over the world. You just do your own thing. Be creative on your own. There's a list of ports that I'm pulling up on the screen right now. Make sure when you are buying a machine that you know what ports come on it and what ports you're going to be using. Think about your day to day. Think about your life. What do you like to do? Like I mentioned, SD card slots, something that's important to me. What is important to you? Do these slots in this configuration fit your needs? All right, let's dive into the performance. The first thing I wanna look at is rendering files in Premiere Pro. So how long does it take to render 3,330 frames in Premiere Pro? It's gonna take about one minute and 46 seconds. This is actually the fastest rendering time that I've had uh, with any computer that I've reviewed on this channel. That RTX 2070 matched with the i7 ninth generation is 
really stellar. Now let's grab a nine minute 4K file, put it into Premiere Pro and export it out with 4K YouTube settings. This machine will do it in six minutes and 54 seconds. Again, a record set on this channel for the fastest export. Take that same file, export it out to 1080p YouTube settings, and it can do that in exactly two minutes and 26 seconds. Really good machine for video editing. If you're thinking of getting this computer for video editing, you're in the right spot. It has great performance capabilities. All right, so for graphic designers as a whole, we mainly work in Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. So I like to do a Photoshop test to see how fast this processor handles the tasks. And what I do is I'll take a raw file, a raw photo file, I'll put it into Photoshop, I'll boost it up to about a two gig file by blowing up the image size, and then I'll try and save as a full quality JPEG. And it does that in 10 seconds. That's a substantially uh, higher performance rating than on my Dell XPS 15, which normally takes about 45 seconds. So this computer, this processor just kills it. Um, it's a great buy. Uh, if you're looking for design or video editing as a whole. Again, affiliate links in the description below. Check the pricing specs. Make sure it's the right model. It's right for you. And you can snag the discount code BEN3 if you want a discount code for yourself. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I am very grateful you watched this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this computer. Love to answer them for you. I'll see you on the next episode.